You will see some people walking behind us, in front of us, and that's okay, because we want to show you exactly what they're walking on. And uh, it's a new formulation for soybean-based asphalt. Grant Kimberly, who is uh, Senior Director of Market Development for the Iowa Soybean Association, you've, uh, you've upgraded this from a year ago, or, or two years ago. You had uh, Iowa put down a, a, some asphalt, soybean asphalt, two years ago. You got a new formulation. It, uh, it looks pretty good stuff. Yeah, it sure is. Uh, excited for this uh, project to continue to develop it and, and get it closer and closer to that uh, commercialization level. And, and yeah, we put down another, another coat of this uh, soy-based asphalt uh, material. Um, this is what we would call more of a hot mix or hot in place material. Uh, the, the first coat that we put down uh, a few years ago was more what we call cold in place, uh, a cold mix material. So there are different types of formulations and they're really for different applications. Uh, this will give this, uh, this product here a, a long shelf life. It, it'll last a long time here for the show. Now, what does the soybean oil replace or where does it go? What's, uh, what's it is, what, per, what does it perform in this asphalt? So the soybean oil uh, that goes into the formulation uh, for the asphalt material uh, works like a binder agent, um, and it replaces some of the di different petroleum products that, that are utilized for that same purpose. Uh, so it increases the, the, sh the uh, longevity of the material. But basically, we're talking about a, a, a binding agent, binds it, holds the asphalt in place over a long period of time. You can also use formulations for different purposes, too. There's, there's top coat uh, applications that can be done as well to uh, increase the, the lifespan of, of old asphalt. So there are different options for this, but this acts like a binding agent and should give you a long shelf life for uh, this, this product. Now, I'm, I'm assuming it's going to be a little bit more expensive, but for a, a commercial application like this, it's going to be a limited purpose not a 40 mile highway, why it's still within the realm of use. You know, it's it's really something that we think over time is going to be very cost competitive actually. Um, we, we've done lots of studies and trials. We actually got, have test tracks down in Alabama, which is where a lot of the national highway uh, asphalt and concrete materials are tested out before they're put uh, on roadways across America and so we have a test track of this particular asphalt material down there as well and so they're testing it out driving heavy vehicles and trucks over it uh, looking at how the longevity of that wear and tear of the asphalt uh, works but we do think this can be cost competitive and something that could be utilized in highways across America. All right. And when you've got products like that then really most any asphalt application company anywhere would be able to to do that job. Yes, uh, that's something that over time, you know, as you, more production capacity that makes this material ramps up or replaces uh, some of the other materials that are gone into the formulation. So um, Iowa State University here has a pilot plant where they make this material and they're actually using high leg soybean oil, which actually works even better than regular soybean oil because it increases it's healthier. It, it, well, <laughs> increases that longevity even further. So there's a lot of positives to it. Well, well it's not only not only good, it lasts a long time, but That's it's right. But it's it's good for your health. Yeah, it sure is. It sure is. Yeah. So there's a lot of applications for it, and we're very excited about it. This particular project, um, we're talking about 42,000 square feet for this varied industries building that this asphalt material is put on, and that's about the equivalent of of this most recent uh, application of 285 bushels of soybeans. So as you look at expanding that across America for lots of different applications, that can really add up and mean some big volumes of soybean usage down the road. Okay. Literally down the road. That's right. That's right. So really a farmer who, uh, who may have a, an asphalt uh, uh, driveway or, or someplace to a machine shed, he's got a, about an acre's worth of, of asphalt in that. Can, he can uh, convert 285 bushels of his soybeans, uh, the oil from it anyway, and uh, he can use his own products. Also. That's right, that's right. And as I said, there's different formulations for different applications. The cold mix materials, maybe for more lighter applications, the hot mix materials going to be the ones for Heavy heavier duty. traffic and, and longer applications. So it just depends, but there's lots of different ways we can do this, and we can recycle asphalt utilizing this material. So there's a benefit, you know, so you can get longer life out of the asphalt itself by recycling it rather than just going into a landfill. Okay, so we could take this up, do the proper grinding, 
put that binding, that soybean oil binding agent back in it and put it back down. Yeah, that's right. You could it could use be used in that kind of an application as well. Formulations are all a little bit different for the different uses that we do here, but uh, this is something that the soybean checkoff, the Iowa Soybean Association, the national, uh, all the national soy industry, including the United Soybean Board, and National Checkoff, have all put research and development dollars into over the last decade in partnership with Iowa State and industry to help develop products like this and many other things. Hopefully, that can over time utilize more soybeans. We certainly hope so. We need some uh, good, a, good domestic products. For we soybeans. do. We've got a lot of production. Farmers <laughs> are great at producing, so we have to keep working on creating more demand and finding more uses. We appreciate uh, all the insight from Grant Kimberly, uh, Senior Market Director for Iowa Soybean Association. Thanks for watching. I'm Stu Ellis.